hello. Before we start. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. In the planning phase prior to deploying equipment for the transportation of heavy cargo, using a self-propelled modular transporter, it is important to have knowledge on the size and quantity of power packs, as well as the trailer unit's traction capabilities. In this video, I will teach you how to calculate the required size of power pack unit and the tractive effort of a self-propelled modular transporter, for transportation of cargo. Here are some of the sample picture of transportation of heavy cargo using self-propelled modular transporter. Example. You have a task to transport 150 ton concrete cargo, using 16 axle line trailer with one unit of PPU. Weight per axle line is 4 ton and weight of power pack unit is 7 ton. Rolling resistance is depend to type of surface, rolling resistance for asphalt is 2 to 3%. Calculate the required size of power pack and tractive effort for SPMT. In case you transporting the cargo in incline road. We need to consider the road gradients, because it will increase the effort required for drive axle. For this example we consider 7.5% slope. See the below calculation to get the road slope. Now, start to calculate the total weight. By adding the cargo weight, trailer weight and power pack unit weight. Next, calculate the required tractive effort for SPMT. By adding the rolling resistance and slope percent and multiply it to total weight. Self-propelled modular transporter drive axle produce 5 to 7 ton of propulsion. For this example I consider 5 ton. To get the required drive axle, divide the tractive effort to 5. Next, calculate the required horsepower of power pack unit. 10 axle line required 100 horsepower, 75 kilowatts, of self-propelled modular transporter. To get the required horsepower, divide the total number of axle to 10 and multiply by 100 horsepower. Now, you can select the required power pack horsepower base in this result. This calculation only for power pack unit sizing. You need to consider the stability of your cargo, which may be required to increase axle line or make it side by side. 